Hey, I'm here to show you the V-Gates from SSL. It's a very cool module. has tons of gate and trigger routing options for you. You have eight channels here. It's digital and analog. It has a binary step, a random, and a slope mode on it. You can pick between analog and digital, and they have different functions. Your jacks change by depending on which mode it is in. And right now, we're going to have it in digital mode, step mode, digital step mode here. And I have a square wave coming out, clocking it in. Now, the first input here is going out to the double deca, basically. I have the EG going out to EG, and then the double deca into a VCA, EG controlling the VCA. The fifth input up here is going to EG and VCA, which is spitting out signal from the VCO slim here. Now, as you turn up the initial amount, it makes each step of it follow it further with uh, the further the gate pulse is. So I'm going to try to turn it up here and let you hear it. That's with it following it at a longer length. About 75 duty cycle there. Now, as we cut it down, about 25% there, you can see that it's not following it as much. It's making a shorter burst sustain out of your envelope. And now as we turn it up, the subsequent stages at the top will follow it also. So now watch as we turn up the pulse width and hear that it's sustaining your envelope gate a little further. Now, once you switch the initial knob past 5, it goes into pendulum mode, which basically it counts up through 1 through 8 and then back through 8 through 1 in a sequence. Let's turn it up a little faster here so you can see. turn it further down, it lets the bottom stage not follow the pulse as much, and the top 5 through 8 are following it more. Okay, and now we have binary mode. which counts up, all the outputs are turned on, it will go back to zero. So it's counting up one, two, three, four, five, six through eight until it hits eight, and then it spits another one until it hits seven, six, five, four, and so on all the way down to the bottom. turn the initial knob up, the width will be followed once again by the top stages. I turned up a little faster if you can see how it does the counting on. knob is turned up, it lights up subsequently the stages here, 
see as you turn it down, they will stay on once they're triggered. opens up inputs on it. Now your initial knob controls what inputs are going to stay hit more. The further you go up, the bottom ones stay on when you get about the four. Once you hit, roll up past the five in the this, in this six and seven area, it keeps your top outputs on. Oh, there's always a top output on it, it's randomly spinning out the bottom. Reverse it, and then it's got the, always the bottom one on, and one of the top four stays on. same way here and it's set into binary mode. The only difference is that when it's in analog mode you have to take your input and put it in the re reset CV in instead of the clock in. Right now the clock in and out will spit a pulse out for every time that the cycle hits. So here we go we're going to turn this up. Now it's counting in binary mode. As the further we turn the initial knob, it makes the inputs stay on more. And once we come up to the CV amount, they're staying on, being sustained, and you can kind of dial it in here which one you want, which ones you want to say sustained once it hits as it's counting through the cycle. So I got it hitting on both BGs there. initial set to zero picks further up through it what channels that it's going to hit the one through eight and once you get past five then it starts doing the same thing in reverse which channel it's going to hit Now we're going to try it in step mode in analog.
So you can kind of choose what output stays on. You can see that I'm turning it. So five staying on. Make it go back down and have one stay on. So it's just controlling the double decking. Now we bring it back to five. Where it's leaving the BCO on the slim. As you increase the CV amount, it increases how it steps through the numbers that you have lit up. This mode turns them on, your outputs, until all of them are on. Control 
the probability of the CD amount here, where all these are staying on at the bottom, and if we turn it, we can control which ones stay on. Turn them all on if you want. feature here with it that you can do. Let's put it back in digital mode. Essentially, is the sequencer actually also with the reset button? Well, not a button, I mean, you take a jack and you would plug your jack in, so we plug it into six. And then plug that into your reset CV in. Then every time it hits six, it's going to reset it back to your original value of one. Put it in seven, stops on seven. Now that works in binary mode also. Wherever you have it plugged in, it's going to count up to that. It stop. Reset. And it kind of doesn't make sense, but you can also do it in random if you like. tricks and modes with this. Like I said, also, remember once it's in, in digital mode, also the step, this will put it in pendulum once you go past five, which is very cool. We're doing some crazy bouncing back and forth sequences. Anyway, a very cool module. If you got a five up system, it's something that you should definitely think about getting. <laughs>